earlier on today I was asked which side of the book should you have your chapters years ago uh, a long time ago it was always traditional to start your chapters on the right hand side now the pages have names um, now you have the recto which is the front page and it's also or well, is seen as the right hand page in a book the facing page on the right the recto turn that over it's on the left hand side of the of the book and it's the reverse side and it's the verso so you have the recto and verso and like I said basically the recto is the front page verso is the reverse of that page so I, I, I can understand where you know people might get confused you just say front or back you know or uh, first or second if you was to to have it that way um, but it also goes down to odds and evens because as traditionally as it was to have the recto page the right hand page was the front page or the first page the title page it'll be all your chapters start on that page and that side of the book, with it, with it starting on, you would think one, two. You'd think the left-hand side of the book and the right-hand side of the book is uh, one and two. But it's not so, because the right-hand side, the recto side, is also the odd number. Because you're starting the book on that page, the title page, and when you hit your first chapter that will be page one and that will be on the right hand side of the book it'll be the facing page and it'll be the recto and that'll be an odd number the even numbers will be on the reverse side so i mean it, it might sound a little complicated there but it shouldn't if it does it shouldn't um give it give it a little thinking about um yeah i mean you can understand the front page simply enough and the back page being on the right hand side of the book it's not, it's not it wasn't only um a traditional or formal way of of putting things together when you open a book you sort of want you sort of want to go to the the right hand side you know it's when it when it's down you, you you open this side here so you're looking at this page and it's the same with um, look at it like coloring books or even it's not necessarily um, literature you know like uh, novels and non-fiction books also if you look at coloring books as simple as that a lot of coloring books will have the image on the right hand side because it's it's just intuitive to go to that side of the page if you've got if you had to choose which to write on and which to be able to read from you want that back side flat on the table and that's what we do with coloring books they leave the verso side blank and they use the image on the recto and that's that's how you see it simply in uh, it doesn't have to be anything complicated so where do you start your title page well your title page is usually after the first two pages now they're not numbered pages they're just you have a recto page which is blank and a verso page which is blank and then you'll start your title page it's not numbered it'll be title with your author name or something simple like that but then your copyright page now your copyright page doesn't have to be anything complicated it can be something quite simple it could be a little bit of small stuff but but nobody wants to really bother with that it's um it's not a book spoiler but it's the um legal side of things and really you just want to read the book you don't want to be 
given sort of um, almost like terms terms and conditions put in front of you so it goes on the verso so you could have the title page on the recto and on the reverse of that page on the verso you could have the copyright and a little bit of copyright well however you want to do it so you don't really notice it there because your next page could be acknowledgements so your next recto page could be acknowledgements again not a numbered page and then nothing on the verso and then it could be a table of contents and then again nothing on the verso so we're keeping everything to the right so you don't you won't find or you rarely you'll rarely find the table of contents on the left or the verso or if you like the uh, even number so you, you see once you get your head round what's even and what's odd and that's important because of page numbering and it just falls into place because you've started on the right that's going to be the first page that's going to be page one and that'll be page one of the first chapter it's best to keep things um, formal, I think. Now, okay, you know, there's people saying, well, it doesn't really matter anymore because these days people are, are thinking about saving the trees and things like that. And, uh, and yet we were supposed to be going to the paperless office decades ago, I remember. Um, and it was supposed to be, we'd use a lot less paper with the computers, but it's, we seem to use more. Um, things had to be backed up. Reams of paper were going through printers. It, you know, it was uh, and wasted, thrown in bins, shredded. Every office has a shredder. You know, it, it just seemed to, it just seemed to accelerate. So you know, you can't use that argument where somebody's uh, created a book, authored a book of five hundred pages, and they've not wanted to use. The verso side they've run out of words on the recto on the last part of the chapter finish say a sentence in on the recto page now they've got the rest of that recto page with nothing on it now they turn that page over to the verso and they don't want to put a start a new chapter on there because they want to keep that onto the recto so they've now got virtually two pages with nothing on it now if you had a book of, I don't know, let's just say a big book and, it, and it's got 50 chapters in it and they all finish short, meaning, you know, you have to use uh, nearly a page and a half, say, of, um, of blank pages before you start the chapter, um, that adds up, that sort of thickens your book. Um, so you, you, what are you talking then? If we said 50 chapters and they all did that and you're using a half of the thing, you're talking 75 pages, I think. So that's a lot of pages um, for nothing. And it, and it just adds so much thickness to the book. I'm not saying every book has 50 chapters. That's, that's a lot of chapters. But um, I'm, I'm just giving you that as an idea. So yeah, saving pages and not having a whole blank page or page and a half before a chapter yeah i can understand why some people would put or would start their chapter straight after the chapter before on the verso page they wouldn't care whether it was on the right or left in the book as you open it if it's if the chapter starts on the left on the verso rather than the recto, and so be it. Um, but to me, it's it's just a little tatty. They say, oh yeah, but you know, times have changed and all that. But, but I still like the formality. I still like the formal look of a book. But that's my personal preference. That's my choice. So... Yeah, I just thought I'd uh, I thought I'd clear the air with that. Um, I think it looks nice to start a chapter on the right-hand page as you open it, the recto. Um, what do you think?
put some information in the comments. Talk to me in the comments. Um, we you know we we not seem to be we don't seem to be discussing important points like that. Um, preferences, and that's really what they are now. Uh, whereas at one at one point, people wouldn't dream of starting uh, a chapter on the verso. So yeah, have a look at some books that you've got at home. Take some off the shelf. Have a little look. See where if you've got any books. And we're not talking about um, line journals. Open them up, have a little look, see where the chapters start. Um, you, you might be you might be surprised. Let me know.